my dear people of God today we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven all the three readings say something about the ascension of our Lord what does this feast mean to us is it important for us what does it teach us ascension of our Lord into heaven points to the completion of the mission of Jesus Christ here on this earth Jesus after completing his mission ascends to the heavenly father to the place from where he had come down on this earth was it necessary for Jesus to go back to his father after such a long time could he not ascend immediately after his resurrection well while on earth Jesus was never understood fully by his disciples they did not understand what was the mission of Jesus Christ their faith was not much firm in Jesus it was only after the resurrection of Jesus after having an encounter with the risen lord that they understood fully who Jesus was what was his mission and their faith in him was ever stronger after an experience with the risen lord they were unafraid they were not afraid of anything even of losing their life they became so courageous to face any kind of situation in their life jesus had to prove himself who he claimed to be while on earth and he proved himself to be son of god by his resurrection so all this while after his resurrection he has been confirming their faith he has been strengthening them in their faith appearing to them again and again saying to them i am the one who was with you and i have now risen from the dead and only after making his disciples strong in their faith so as to face any kind of difficulty any kind of situation in life he ascends now back to the place where he had come from saint paul in the second reading teaches that god has revealed his might in the resurrection and ascension of jesus christ and has exalted him above everyone and everything in this world he has taken his rightful place now in heaven before he ascends to heaven jesus promises the gift of the holy spirit to his disciples and instructs them not to leave jerusalem to be in jerusalem so that they receive the gift or the power from above and he hands over his mission into the hands of the disciples to preach the good news of the kingdom of god to the ends of the world to all kinds of people by their very lives by bearing witness by their lives today jesus hands over the mission to each one of us he has given it to us through a baptism and how do i effectively preach and bear witness to jesus christ when i live the commandment of jesus i bear witness to him i bear witness to jesus christ when i respect people and accept them as they are without making any differences i bear witness to him when i do a selfless service towards others without expecting anything in return when i desire the well-being of the other saint francis of assisi would say preach always the word of god but rarely use words this means that the command of jesus can be lived more effectively powerfully through our actions also through words but by using less words more through our life through our action and finally my dear people of god the ascension of jesus also points to our destiny after death 
if we live by the will of God, we too will be in the bosom of our Heavenly Father after our death. Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us and that place will be ours. We will be in the presence of God always after our death if we live by the teaching of Jesus Christ. So let's pray this Sunday for grace so that we may bear witness to Jesus Christ through our words and more by our actions. May God bless each one of you.